God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to Zachariah Ministry Live Broadcast. Your sister, your friend, I'm here today. God bless you for appearing in today. The Bible said today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you. We worship you. We adore you. We reverence your presence in our midst. I commit today, put us into your able hands. Come and take us holy control. Come and lead and let us follow. Father, we thank you for your gift of life. Thank you for protection. Thank you for all the family that love Jesus Christ. All the family that believe in Jesus. All the children you have created all over the world. Father, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's thank God for everything he has done. He has given us a long life, a testimony, a joy, a blessing. He's an awesome father. Hallelujah. I want you to share this broadcast today. Let somebody see it. Let your friends, let families. It is time. To glorify the name of the Lord. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Uh, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare to have a lasting law for you. Father, we declare law. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare to have a lasting law for you. I just want to say, Baba, oh, a shame. I really want to see Daddy oh, I just want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to just want to say Baba oh, Baba oh, I really want to say Daddy oh, I just want to say I just want to I just want to say Daddy oh. From the bottom of my heart, more we pay. I just want to say, Baba, oh, 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 Lord, oh, me. From the bottom of my heart, more we pay. Oh, we just want to say thank you. I just want to, I just want to say, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, eh, eh, from the bottom of my heart, mo we pay, oh, eh, do something new in Allah, something great in Allah, oh, something wonderful in Allah. Oh, today, Jehovah, do something new in our life, Lord. Something tangible in our life. Something miraculous in our life. Oh, Lord, I cannot do, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you, Lord. I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord, I cannot do, Lord, I cannot do without you. Oh, I cannot do without you, Lord. I cannot do without you. 
Oh, Lord. Father, we thank you. Baba, 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 oh, Baba, Baba, where she would die, as she daddy, as she uba, as she Baba, what do bear? Oh, Baba, 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 me Baba, Moju Barrel, where she uba, as she would daddy, as she uba, as she Baba, what do bear? Oh, ba 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 ba, e daddy, e she o, e she daddy, e she o ba, e she ba ba a wa du be ma ma. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We adore your name. We adore your presence. We thank you, Father, for all your good things you have done in our life, in our family. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. We say thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Joy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming in this evening. God bless you. Your time has come. You are next in line. For a promotion. Please share this broadcast this evening. Let someone get in touch. Hallelujah. So we, it's not good that we, we enjoy it alone. Amen. I titled my message today, Deliverance. Amen. I titled my message today, Deliverance. What is deliverance? Why the church need deliverance? Why did the body of Christ need deliverance? Amen. Why do we why do we want deliverance? Why is it possible? Why the Christians is happy when you are delivered? Why the old man need to leave you? Amen. The old man need to go and the new man need to stay. Amen. So they have to be that plans that you were before you were when you were born when your mother gave birth to you. That first Adam came with you. For the first Adam to go, for the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ, to remain in you, deliverance has to take place. The two can be at the same time. Amen. What we need as a Christian, as a child of God, you need deliverance. So that the first Adam will leave you because that was the sinful nature before Jesus come into being. Before Jesus enters your life, before you go, go born again. The Bible said, Upon Zion, they shall be delivered. And the children of what? Jacob shall possess what? Their possession. So that the blessing that was for you, that was with the enemy, can be transferred to you. It's just like a change of ownership. Just like maybe someone was in your house before, and that property has been your own for years. You have not even had it. And you are just there, and nothing is showing up. But the day you say, This house is for me, let me go and tell the tenant. Please, I want to use my property. And that property is the, we are the one that owns it. For you to get that property back, what do you do? You tell the, land, uh, the tenant that inside to leave. And when the tenant leave, what do you do? You go inside, you clean it, you take care of it. Either you paint it, you renovate it, you make sure that home is clean. That is deliverance. Amen. The old things inside the house have to go. When you are delivered, you are different. You can't be the same again. When you did deliverance, and ask anyone that have did deliverance, and deliverance is very, very crucial. On a point, when you deliver, you go back to your vomit. is very, very dangerous as a Christian. I always tell people when they come to church, they book appointment for deliverance, I always tell them, please, you are going for deliverance, please. Don't go back to your vomit. If you go back to your vomit, the devil is going to fight you. That is why it's just like you said, you put your hand in the plug. Don't look back. Like, uh, like uh, the wife of a uh, who that turned to a pillar of salt. Why? She, God told them as they are leaving the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, don't look back. She looked back, the wife of Lot. He look, she looked back. She became a pillar of salt. As, as a deliverance minister, as a child of God, we need deliverance. 
upon my Zion, they shall be delivered. And the children of Jacob shall possess the possession. Amen. You need to be delivered in some certain time in your life. You need to accept that deliverance. It's very, very important as a child of God. It's very, very important as a child of God. Amen. It's very, very important because you want to change your life. You want things to happen to you. You don't want to remain the same person you used to be. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things about you are gone. All things have become new. You are not a new being. You are not just like the person they knew 10 years ago, 20 years ago. No, you are not a different person entirely. When you are delivered, there is something has changed. We call it change of ownership. There is Jesus has come to live in you. You can't put an old wine into an old bottle. It will burst. Before you need to do it, before you put that new wine inside the old bottle, you have to wash it. What is that wash? Is the, is the blood of Jesus have to enter or end the bottle will burst. Amen. It's just like you're putting a hot water inside a bottle. What do you expect is explosion. That bottle is going to burst because the great, the anointing that will come inside that bottle, everything will spoil. As a child of God in our life, we want to possess our possession. You need to be delivered. The first thing, the things you have done before, the things your mother has done to you when she carried you, when she was pregnant, when, you, when she was pregnant, maybe she take your name to you. When she was pregnant, you drink a lot of concussion, go to different abalis to do a lot of things. But now, you have accepted Jesus. You need to go for the deliverance. You need to go to a deliverance ministry near you. You need to go to pastors to pray for you, for them to join hands with you to pray. If you check, things are not going on the way you want it to be. Brother, sister, don't joke with it. There is something that needs to leave you for the good thing to come. There is something that needs to leave you for the testimony to happen in your life. There is something that needs to leave your life for God to show mercy. There is something that needs to leave you until you do these, these things. Good things will see you and run. So when there is deliverance need to take place as a body of Christ. Hallelujah. Deliverance need to take place in your life. Amen. Deliverance need to take place in your life. Amen. We are going to see that in you know, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. He said, Upon Mount Zion, upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there, and there shall be what? Holiness. And there shall be what? Holiness. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be what? Delivers upon my Zion, they shall be what delivers, delivers, and they shall be what holiness, holiness. They shall be holiness. You need to be holy. First one, you have to be delivered, and the second one, it, it shall be holiness. He said, and the and the house of what Jacob shall what possess their possession, so that you can possess the blessing of Jacob that the God of of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has given to us, so that you can possess that blessing. Upon Messiah, they shall be what? holiness. It shall be deliverance. Deliverance have to take place. And the second one is what? Holiness. You need to be holy. Your body needs to be holy. Your body is the temple of God. You need to be holy. You need to go for deliverance. So that good things begin to come your way. So that things that they have done to you before you were born. All the things you, you yourself you did. You have put your hand in a lot of things that is things that are not working for you now. But you need deliverance. Amen. It's not a problem. It's just a life you need to live. Some men of God, anointed men of God, need to put their hand on you. They need to pray for you. Women of God, they need to come together. They need to pray with you and set you free from that captivities and set you free from that plans of the wicked so that you can possess your possession. Amen. So that you can eat the fruits of your labor. So that you can have that thing that God has given you from the beginning. Because the devil is a ruling lion seeking for who to devour. Amen. 
The devil is a really lion seeking for who to devour. The devil is so crafty at this end time. The devil is a bad devil. They doesn't like you, darling. They doesn't like you, darling, because this is the thing that the devil has done to us. Many Christians are in one place for years. Nothing is working. Many Christians are in one place for years. Don't, instead of the good thing to come, the enemy will come and collect him. You need deliverance, my brother. You need deliverance, my sister. My father, I'm going to pray for the children of God today. That is, and that the devil has put into the cage of darkness eh, for them not to able to possess their possession. That the devil has put inside the darkness. Eh, we are going to pray today that God will show mercy upon them so that they will receive their deliverance. Eh, that God will show mercy upon them. That the old man needs to leave them so that the old one will go in the name of Jesus. Eh, I'm going to join you in prayer today that God Almighty, there shall be deliverance in your life. If deliverance take place, if you have if you have been in the place of their counsel deliverance, have you seen some people after deliverance you say, ah, I don't know where I am. What is happening to me? What have I just said? What have I what has happened to me? They don't know. They are ignorance. Don't blame them. Don't blame them. They don't know what happened to them. Don't call them names. Don't 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 remember them with what they says when they were up, when 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 deliverance was going on in their life. That was the old man that was living in them. That was the old man that was taking ownership over their life. That was the old man that was saying that was that want to take the blessings of God from them. Amen. Because as a child of God, there is something we need. There is something we need back on our blessing so that we can embark on our blessing on our journey of testimony amen so that we can embark on the testimony that god has given to us the devil is he knew all this he will allow you to drink he will allow you to womanize he will allow you to do rubbish he will allow you to see he will allow you to lie with her lips. he will allow you to do a, rub a rubbish that you yourself will be ashamed of yourself for it and say it is me something is going on darling something is going on there is a power that entered you there is a power that entered you that make you to do those things without even you you are not ashamed you are not even ashamed of it there's there's something that is going wrong in your life that you don't even know what is going on. You do what you want to do. You just get away with it. He said, no, it's not my business. It's your business, darling. Why you think it's not your business? Because you don't know what we are doing. The devil has already taken over ownership over your heart. You will see some people, when they do things to you, you, say, you ask yourself, where is their conscience? With this kind of people, they, don't, they have conscience. You know why you think they don't have a conscience? Because the conscience that is within them is dead. The devil has, they have allowed the devil to rule their conscience. They have allowed the devil to sit in their house. They have allowed the devil, the ownership they, as a child of God. The Bible says we are the small God on earth. Instead of them to rule and have what they belong that belong to them, the devil make them to. <laughs> it's none of my business. They will drink and do rubbish. It's not my. They will, they won't care because it's not that they don't believe in Jesus. Yes, they do. They do believe in Jesus, but the old man is still living in them. The way of their life before, before they, they were even born, the way of the life they used to live, they are still living. They say, mm -mm, there's nothing wrong. It's, it's a free word. We can do anything. No, child of God, you can't do anything like that. When the Spirit of God leaves you, the other world spirit will enter. That is why Christians, we always say, watch your gates. Hallelujah. Watch your gates. Whatever you are doing, watch your gates. I know what, what, what you are allowed to come into your life. Watch your gates. Amen. You need to watch your gates. Obadiah tell us. You need to watch your gate. It's not everything you allow. It's not everything you allow. There are times you disallow things not to come in. Sometimes you disallow some spirit not to use you. Amen. Sometimes you don't give room to the enemy to use you. If you see after the after the after you got born again, 
after the new man has left you. Look at what the scripture said in the, in the book of 1 Peter 2. They say, say but ye are what? A choosing what generation? A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people that are, that are showed forward the praises of them, of him who has what? Called us out of what? Of his word. Darkness into what? Everlasting life. God has called us out of darkness. He has called you and I out of darkness to show forth his praise. To show forth you are a royal priesthood. You are not an ordinary person. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a peculiar person. You are a royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. That God has meant to show forth with the praise of God. You need to do more for Christ. You need to be in the feed. You don't let nobody discourage you. Sometimes people want to say, it's not moving. The way we want it, it, don't, don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You can do it another way around. No, darling, you don't go. Because you know, the devil know when immediately you take your step out of the gospel, you are ending to doom. He will be clapping hand. He will be clapping hand because he knows where you are going. He will be clapping hand. The gate, he said, the broad is the way, but narrow is the gate. If you need to live a narrow road, you need to walk in holiness and righteousness. You need to take your step out. Look at the blessing that is attached to it after deliverance. The blessings of God make it rich and added no sorrow. God is the same God. He never failed. Children of God, deliverance is very important. Because you are a royal priesthood. The blessing you're supposed to get. You are image of God. You can heal the sick. You yourself, it's not all pastor. It's not pastor that can heal the sick. It's not only the preacher that can heal the sick. It's not only the preacher that can heal the bomb blind. It's not only the preacher that can lay hand. You also looking at me, you can lay hand on the sick. Immediately in your own room, in your own house, in outside, at your work, you can do it and you hear the sick. You see somebody falling or you want to fence, lay your hand. The Bible said it command us. It's not a, it's not, it's not, it's not, that you can do it. You can do it. Lay your hands on that sick person. You see the person just faints in your presence. You immediately lay your hand. You say, in the name of Jesus, I cast you. I cast you out. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. In the name of Jesus. You see the person will just go. He will, he will come back to life. You just demonstrated the power of God. You just demonstrated the Holy Spirit. You just demonstrated the purpose you were born again. You just demonstrated the power of God. It's not all or you must be a pastor. You must be a preacher. You must be this before you lay hand. Choir can lay hand. Dicky can lay hand. Dickness can lay hand. Except you see, except you are so far from God. God has given us all this blessing. There are things you will just solve without calling person. There are things you can solve without going to the doctor. There are things you can solve. You just take a water. You feel that your stomach is paining you. Take a cup. You, you just take a glass of water. You just lay your pray over it. And after prayer, something will tell you, drink it. It is done. That stomach will just go because we are the image of God. The Bible said to us, we are a small God on earth. The Bible, the scripture said to us, we can decree it and it shall be established after deliverance. That means the presence of God has come inside of you. The grace of God has come inside. You are no more the same person you used to be. No. If any man is in Christ, is a new creature. The moment you receive your deliverance, you are already a new creature. Let them call you their name. Mm. Now they sabi. Let them call you whatever they know. You are not a word, a new creature. If it's easy, let them take Christianity for 10, one, 10 years, if they can do it. To stay in holiness and righteousness. Let them try it for 10 years, if they would not fall. But you are still standing. Because you trusted in the blood of Jesus. Because you trusted in the resurrection power. He said, that may know him by the power of resurrection. It is done. I want to encourage somebody today. 
Look for any Bible-believing church and go. Give your life to Jesus. And set him as your Lord and personal Savior. Let deliverance take place. Go to great men or women of God that you believe and you trust. Go to them, need them, let them pray with you and deliver you from the spiritual bondage of your father's house. There are many things that you are doing today. You can't do it because there are powers fighting you that have not leave you yet. There are power principalities fighting you. We are known, they are not living. How can you go into a strong man house? You must first destroy that strong man. That is the deliverance. Before you can claim your goose, that is the deliverance. You first of all go to that strong man house and break and destroy the things before you can collect your goose. I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to decree and destroy every power. Waging war against your life, against your family, against your loved one, against your marriage, against your finances. I decree today, I pray for my brothers and sisters in the vineyard of the living God. I pray for the people that believe in Jesus. I pray that those that believe that Jesus died on the cross three days, God raised him from the grave. But right now, he's in the right hand of the Father, interceding for us 24 hours of the day. He said, it is finished in the gold gutter. It was settled. When Jesus died on the cross, there was three hours of darkness in Jerusalem. Everywhere, we have, every one of them, we are running to task attack. Body, body, uh, the, the, those that crucify him, they were all running. They clothed in the altar of the rabbi, tear from up to bottom. They said, that man you just kill, he's a child of God. And yes, Jesus is alive. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is alive. He's alive today, tomorrow, forever, till eternity. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is still alive. Jesus Christ has not leave you alone. Don't be in that depression. You can do all things to Christ that strengthened you. The moment you accepted Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you surrender your children to, to him. You surrender your children, your family, your husband, your wife, your family. You surrender everything, property that you have, surrender it to Jesus. And live the life of holiness and righteousness. See if Jesus will not show up. Those that will wage war against you, they will go down before you. Those that will call your name in their altar, Jesus will appear and destroy them. The angels of God will hang a camp around you. The Lord will not leave you alone. Say, I will not leave you nor forsake you. It's a command from his word. It's, he has already said it. It is done. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Even though your sucking mother, does, that you suck her breast, forget it. Say, I will not leave you. If a woman forgets his sucking child that she cared for, that she breastfeed, that say, oh. He said, but I will not forget you, said the Lord. I am encouraging somebody today that it's not too late. Are you drinking? Are you smoking? Are you in the bad condition? Are you in the hospital? Pick your Bible up. You can download Bible offline and read your Bible. Believe in Jesus Christ. He's coming back again. Are you ready to meet him? Are you prepared to meet him? Are you ready? Are you going to spend your life in, the, in eternity with Jesus? All everything that we have in this life we go is vanity. Yeah. Everything is vanity. All is vanity on vanity. Nothing. We came to this world with nothing. The day you are going, you are going to take nothing with you. All the wealth you accumulated, everything you accumulated, where are you going to pack them to? If you don't add Jesus to it now, the soul free under the sun 
If you are not asking Jesus to take over your life now, you have not given your life to Jesus, everything you are accumulating, where are you going to put them? Do you think he will go with you to that six feet? No. Accept him. Is your soul that will accept Christ? Is your body that you will give to God? If your soul, your spirit, your soul, body, and spirit that you will give to God, the three of them, you hand the right to Jesus. Yoruba said, Fia ye ye, fi Jesu, give your life to Jesus. Bini said, Ye dad, no wenu sa. Yo saloba do tuta ye dad, no. Let God sit in your life. Allow God to sit in your life. Allow God to, to be the one to direct you. The Holy Spirit is there. Your conscience is so close. You don't listen to no one. You don't listen to God, but you want to listen to worldly music. You want to listen to the things of the world. It's booming you. Yeah, the devil is preparing you for the hair. Hair is real. Heaven is real. The Bible says, choose it these days. Who will you serve? And I've chosen mine. Hair is real. Have you, put, have you tried to put sometimes, just try to put your hand in the fire. How does it burn? Do you enjoy it when burning? Yeah, the same way a fire burns. Imagine you being in the midst of the fire, burning you. That is how air is. If you can feel it with your hands, a little one, when the, when the fire touch your hands, how do you feel? Do you feel all right? Are you enjoy when the fire burn your hand? How can you enjoy if you can if you can if you can enjoy that? Do you know that on the last day all your body will be burning? This body you are taking care of will be burning. Are you not going to give your life to Jesus now? So that you will have eternity with Jesus? I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children today. They are struggling with it. They don't know the side to take. They are struggling with it. They don't know the side to follow. Holy Spirit, help them. Because the devil know there is a blessing attached to it when they follow Christ. Because the devil know when they follow you, they will have eternity with you. Holy Spirit, I decree, I declare. Save our brothers and sisters that have not yet given their life to Jesus. I pray for them today. Father, release them from the hands of the wicked. Release them those that the devil has caged under their roof. Oh God, I You are born to win. You are born to reign. In the name of Jesus. You will not die. Sickness is not your portion. Plans of the wicked will not your portion. You will live and see your children, children. You will not die. Oh, tell me that is not your portion. Receive your testimony after having your deliverance. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. You are next in life for your promotion. Anyone in the camp of the wicked, I lose them today in Jesus' name. I lose them today in the name of Jesus. You are loose. You are loose from your father's altar. You are loose from your mother's altar. You are loose from the altars of the wicked. You are loose from the satanic altar. They are take ownership over you. Your life belongs to Jesus. You will not die. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. Receive your divine testimony. Go and sing your song and dance your dance. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want to urge you, if there's a church around your place, around your uh, uh, community you are, please look for a Bible-believing church on Sunday. Dress up. The Bible said when two or three are gathered, he's there in their midst. Dress up. Go to any Bible-believing church. Join them to worship Jesus. I know your time has come. I know God Almighty, you will sing your song and dance your dance. You will not fail because Jesus did not fail. In the place wherever you are, accept Christ. 
I know when Jesus is coming back to receive his children, you will be a mug of them. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters in the Lord. God bless you. We are Zachariah Ministry Grace Center. Anywhere in UK you are, please, you visit UK, uh, Manchester, please, don't hesitate to come to us. We are open every Sunday, 9.30 to 11.30 p.m. daily, every Sunday. Please join us. Come together. Let's come together to celebrate Jesus Christ. He is the reason for the season. God bless you. Bye. Hallelujah. Bye. Amen.